grind Yadayim Perk Bet, Mishnah Gimel. Third mission in the second chapter, Mishnah Yadayim. Again, I uh, want to thank Pablo Geralnik for dedicating uh, today's Mishnah out in memory of his mother, Norma Geralnik, Rachalea Bat Dan. Uh, it's much appreciated to be an Aliyah for her Neshama. If you want to sponsor a day of learning, uh, reach out to me. So we're going to talk about the idea of Tumat Yadayim. And the best way I can explain this is it's not a calculus. It's not, it's not science. And there are certain rules that Chazal instituted, and uh, those are the rules. <laughs> and I wish I could explain it to in a more scientific way, but I really can't, especially the way the Bartunur explains them. So the Mishnah says the following, Hayadayim mitamot umitarot adaperek. Right, too much yadayim, the, like the hand ends at the perek. So remember, it's a machlok, whether it's this joint, let's assume it's the wrist, right? Your hand ends at the wrist. So too much yadayim does not continue down. Kate side, so how does that work? Natal et arishonim ad haperek. So if you wash, uh, doing the first wash, ad haperek, until the joint. Ve'et hashniim chutz laperek. And then you wash, so you uh, I don't have a cup here. I have a nice cup here. Okay, you took your washing cup and you washed the first hand until the joint. But then the, the second uh, pour, the water went below, went onto your, you know, down onto your forearm. Chutz over here. Then, v'chazu liyad. So you wash your hands and then you put your hand down and the water drips back down onto your hand. That's tohora. Why? Because remember, the first washing gets rid of the tuma. The second washing gets rid of the, wa- the first bad water. So therefore, the water, the, the maim shniyim that, that then went down, down your arm was tahor water. And then when it went back to your hand, tahor water drip, drip back onto your hand, you're good. But, natal et arishonim. If you did both, let's say the first and the second one, you took the first hand and you poured it over to your hand. And then the second one also, and then it dripped back onto your hand. It's Tameya. Why is it Tameya? Because the rule we said was, can become tame, but also it can only become Tameya. So when I did that first washing and I washed the water down from the water here and went below here, then that, this hand here, the water here is tame. I got tame water over here. But the trick is, the Kahati said, the second water, even if I pour it like on my forearm, that's not going to help me. I can't help me because the second water, he says, very clearly he says, the water, okay, the, 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 the water, the, the second water can only up the first water up to the joint. But this water over here is tame. There's nothing you can do about it. You got to dry off and start again. So therefore, if you wash the first Rishonim and the Shni'im, Chutz Perek, and then make sure <laughs> you don't put your hands down that way to get back into your hands. Just wash like, I guess, with your hands up. Wash the second ones and then dry it out quickly. Because otherwise, if it goes, if the water from on your forearm, from the first wash, it goes back down onto your sec, onto your hand, your hand is going to be tame. Next, Natal Atar Rishonim Liyado Acha. So now this is the, the, the explanation of the Bartunur is going to be a little, a little challenging because he says, Natalita Rishonim, if you washed two washings, Liado Echad, onto one hand. So let's about Tunur for a second. Natalita Rishonim Liado Echad, what does that mean? She Natal Bamayim Rishonim, Kol Vyad Vyad Bifne Atzma. So he did, did one, one, right? He did one, one, each one, but less than a revered, obviously. So it'll be Liado Echad. Then, Vinimlach Venatala Tashniim, Lishteyada. So what happens, the way the Bartunavis says what you do is, you do one, one, and then you're like, now nah, do the rest together. You put it both together. I don't know, somebody else pours the water on you. Cheyav, says the Bartunur, it says the Mishnah, Tmeot. And the Rambam has a totally different explanation that even the Bartunura quotes, but he says, this is the way I understand it. Okay, why are your hands Tmeot? Tekishtserev yadav, when you put your hands together, nitmu yadav medgiyatam zobazu, your hands made each other tame. Why? He says, because remember, you have tame hand, tame water on this hand, and tame water on that hand. Your hands are tahor, but the water is tame. So that's why you have to wash the second time. So if you wash the second time, you get rid of it. Now, why is it to make your hand tame again? That's just the way it works. So when you touch each other, when you smush the water together, then your hands make each other tame. Okay, and, and the, the Bartunu continues. So when you do the second water, you put them together, the second water can't make them rishon, the, the first water tahor. Because they became ritame by the water on the other hand. 
Right? The second one is going to be Tamei. V'davka shenatal tarishonim zo la'atzma v'zo la'atzma. This only works, by the way, it only applies when you when you watch one individually. Aval im natal tarishonim kishtei adav ke'echad. Let's say you wash two hands together as one. Then, nechshavot shtei adayim ki'yad echad. Then it's like one hand ve'em etamot zo bazo. And then, and uh, they can't become make each other Tamei. Why is it that when I do one and one, then they meet each other Tamei, when I do two together, they don't? That's what he says. Kach matzati perush mishnah zo be perush rabotai. That's what my rabbanim say. That's the way I understand it. The Rambam has a different explanation. You can look it up in the Bartanura or the Kahati on your own. And the mission continues. Natalita rishonim lishtei adav. That's exactly what he says. But if you wash two hands together, v'nimlach, and then change your mind, v'natalita shalilim di adu achat, and then you wash each second individually, yado tehora. That's okay. Natal, as, as he said, as the Bartuna explained, Natal yado echat v'shiv shishef ra bechaverta tamei. That's obvious, right? You know, obviously it's true. If you wash one hand and then you like dry it on the other hand, then obviously you have you have one hand. Your water, your hand is your hand is tamei because the unclean hand is going to make the clean hand tamei. Obviously, because I got one hand clean hand, I'm good, but the other one is not good. But berosho bekotel torah. But I can wash it. I can dry it on the on my head, I guess, or on the wall. That's okay. Says the Mishnah. Finally, not lim arba ava chamisha ze betzad ze o ze al gabe ze. You can have five guys standing next to each other, one on top of the other, one next to each other. O bilvad shi rapu. As long as they they don't squish together, then as long as they loosen, shavu behem amayim. So all of these things are what's really interesting. There's we just said a tremendous chumra about the water going too far. And if the first one goes too far, then it goes back down. It's going to make you tame. This is all brought down, as you should know, halacha psuka. You look it up in Shulchan Aruch. So it's very machmer in those areas. But here, it's like so strange because five people can put their hands all together, right? As long as they're loose and the water gets on all of them, no problem at all. The bartender says, "En chomoshim mishum arbaidim." We're not worried about four things. Mishum shem anit mu'u kishenaflu miyad zeli yad zeli. We're not afraid of the water falling from one and they making each other tame. Eh? About who, my own hand, I'm worried about from my, my hand to my forearm. I am, but two people or five people, I'm not. Shem yesh lehem din ma'im shasa be'amilacha. We're not afraid that once you wash one guy, it's water that's been used. Umshum shem alo nat lumi nakli. Maybe it's you know if they're splashing from one to the other, one on top of the other, it's not from a kli. Umshum shem alo nat lumi min revit. Maybe they don't have a revit. We're not worried about any of that stuff. So it's really interesting. On a person himself, we're more machmir. On multiple people, Chazal, we're very, very mekil. Why that is, I'm, I really don't know. We'll stop here. Dedicate our learning to remember my father, Rav Simcha Ben Yitzchak Kalman. Make it a great day.